I have other videos lined up to be made, but this rant just came over me and I had to get it out. I apologize to advanced philosophers. I have no formal training, and I've only recently started to think about these things. <clears throat> so this may come across as very simplistic, or perhaps this exact rant has long ago been ranted. Additionally, this video has nothing to do with silver, and only a little to do with other topics my channel's focused on. So feel free to back out now. To everyone else, welcome and enjoy. This video is for those of us who consider ourselves open-minded, non-judgmental, and accepting of others. We believe in freedom and equal rights for all. We believe everybody should have access to the truth about the world around us. We are generally united against greed, tyranny, oppression, and discrimination. Great! We should be pleased with ourselves, and we should congratulate ourselves for opening our minds and ending our judgmental opinions about others. We've already come a long way. But I've been thinking, where is the shift in consciousness heading? As we become less judgmental, more open-minded, and break free from the brainwashing we've been subjected to for centuries, what singularity are we approaching? Can one phrase or statement sum it all up? Here's what I came up with. Each person has the right to be, think, and do anything they want as long as it doesn't directly harm another. The more I've thought about it, the more this universal rule makes perfect sense. Over the past couple of years or so, I've put this into practice in my own life, and I love how it's changed my thinking and behaviors. Yes, it is very hedonistic, and that, and that at its core it aims to eliminate pain, suffering, trauma, sadness, and other negative states, while promoting as much freedom, happiness, and pleasure as possible. Hedonism has a negative connotation to it, but I can't figure out why. Its goal is simply to increase happiness and minimize pain. I propose that we be hedonistic, universally. Under this rule, there really is only one action a person can take that isn't acceptable, purposely causing harm, emotional, physical, or otherwise, to another person. You might ask, what about things like fraud or theft? But if you look closer, those things clearly both cause emotional harm and financial harm. Here's some examples of things that would be okay if everybody followed the rule. Dressing in purple and dancing in your front yard. Having physical characteristics like fair skin, slanted eyes, big lips, etc. Having or not having religious or spiritual beliefs, as long as they don't cause you to break the rule. Being attracted to one, the other, neither, or both genders. Not trusting that the government, banks, and mainstream media have your best interests at heart. Altering your body and appearance. Eating, smoking, injecting, inhaling, drinking, or otherwise taking in anything you want to. Under this rule, we would immediately have to find alternatives to war, tyrannical governments, pretty much all of them currently, racism, discrimination, the Federal Reserve. I believe we'd need to find other outlets for our time, energy, and resources. Perhaps we should invest more in science, creativity, technology, caring for the planet, leisure. How is it we continue to favor war and discrimination over these things? Aren't we paying attention to what we're doing as a species? But, under this rule, some things many of us are still struggling to accept would become okay. Having sex with someone without being married to them. Sorry, but if you think a story about stone tablets trumps the rule, you're mistaken. All people have the right to conduct themselves sexually in any way they deem fit, as long as they don't directly harm anyone else. Killing a million Iraqi civilians to compensate for 9-11? Obviously this is so wrong on many levels, but only one needs mentioning. Killing breaks the rule. Being in a relationship with more than one person, as long as each person involved is aware and consenting. 
no harm is being done to anyone. Being paid for sexual acts. If the rule was in place, this might not be necessary, or as necessary as it is now, but it would certainly be okay. And the last one, ending your own life. This is the only one I've had trouble with. Some people obviously will argue, if you die, the people who loved you will be sad, so you are harming them. And I admit I don't have a good answer for that one. The best I can come up with is you have more right to your own life than anyone else does. I've only listed a few off the top of my head, so feel free to test the rule against anything and everything you like. I present this not as fact, but as my current thinking. I'd love to hear your views, to learn from you, and to change my opinion as necessary. You say you're not judgmental, you say you're open-minded, but are you? What prejudices are you still hanging on to, and why? Shouldn't we all grant each other the right to be, think, and do whatever we want, as long as we aren't hurting each other?